Next, we go to the lossless media. For the lossless media, the sigma is equal to zero. Okay, that means there is no leakage current or no conduction current exists inside the material. And the loss, loss tangent sigma divided by omega epsilon is also equal to zero. There is no loss tangent in the lossless media. So the intrinsic impedance can be simplified to third mu divided by epsilon. And the phase difference is zero because when, when this part is zero, so there is no uh, J components, so it will be in phase. Okay, so it's zero. And the uh, alpha is equal to omega mu epsilon divided by 2 as the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 is equal to zero because there is no uh, attenuation in the lossless media where the beta can be simplified into omega third mu epsilon. Because what? Because this is a 1. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So we can cancel out here. Okay. We can cancel out. So this is a 0. That's why you got 1. So for the lossless media, we can see that basically the electric field and the magnetic field will be in phase. There is no phase difference. The only difference is, is the magnitude of H0 is equal to E0 divided by uh, intc impedance. And we, if we can see the general equations here, okay, it's almost the same. So it's in phase because there is no theta. Let's see example 3. In a lossless medium, the intc impedance uh, n is equal to 60 pi and mu r equal to 1. The magnetic field is given by minus 0 0.1 cos omega t minus z x and per meter and we have to find e. So from these informations, uh, we know the magnitude of the magnetic field and also this is the direction of the propagations uh, as well as the direction of the H field, the oscillations. Right, because this is a lossless case, so this is a, the case of in phase. There is no phase difference between electric field and magnetic field. Right, so we have to write the general equation for electric field, which is E equal to E naught cos omega t minus x and the direction of E. So we have to determine uh, what is E naught. So the E naught equal to the magnitude of intrinsic impedance multiplied by the magnitude of the electric, uh, magnetic field, which is equal to minus uh, 6 pi. And then the direction of E basically uh, the EAP is equal to the AE cross AH. So the direction of population is Z. H is X. So what is E? So this is the sequence. So please follow the sequence as usual to over to avoid confusion. Right, so what multiplied by S we got Z. So the X is here. So the Z here. So it should be in these directions. So it should be minus Y cos X. So it should be minus y as mentioned here so this is and then and then we we put everything inside the expression of e 
so this is the main shoot and also the action so we solve the problem right um for the case of free space media so the sigma is t0 because there is no uh, conduction current in free space conduction current cannot uh, flow in free space as we know the difference is only we have mu to equal to mu naught because our mu r and epsilon r is equal to 1. So this is uh, the different uh, value because we always uh, refer something with a free space. And the loss tangent sigma divided by omega epsilon equal to 0 because this one 0. And the alpha and beta can be simplified into the same basically almost the same this one zero because there is no attenuation attenuation part and here we have mu naught epsilon naught compared to the lossless we have mu and epsilon here beta is equal to mu naught epsilon naught so this is a u is equal to velocity of the wave equal to uh, Omega divided by beta equal to 1 over third mu naught epsilon naught. So this is equal to C. C is basically the speed of light. Okay. Phi multiplied by 10 power of 8 meter per second. And the standard for the intrinsic impedance for free space, we, we, we label as the N naught. Okay. Not means the in free space the different value so it's equal to third mu naught over epsilon naught equal to 377 ohm this is a very important value especially when we want to design or characterize the electromagnetic devices such as antenna filters and so on this is the value that we almost use 377 ohms and the theta n is equal to zero degree that's mean the electric field and the magnetic field will be in phase. Okay, you can see here the E field and H field in phase except the magnitude because the magnitude of H0 equal to E0 divided by 377. Right, so this is uh, basically the uh, intrinsic impedance in phase space and not and we can see the expression also simple. There is no phase difference. The propagation of the waves in the same direction z, and this is uh, the oscillation uh, directions e in x or h to y. And again, I would like to remind that this component can be different. It depends on the equation. It can be y, it can be z, and this component also can be different. So please be careful.